What's up, guys? It's uh, Nick Flicka, Hera into your soup, Gera, and I'm here to tell you a- about another thing that I just barely learned about. Incels. Yeah, I just heard about that term, too. Incel stands for involuntary celibate. An incel is a man that is angered by the fact that he has not lost his virginity and he blames women because he believes that they should handle this. Now I know there's women out there that are like, well that just sounds like guys. And you're kind of (laughs) right. Ironically, this term was coined by a woman to try to help these men cope with these feelings. Instead, they adopted this term and are now trying to jumpstart what they call the incel rebellion. We need to talk about this as a society because this incel culture is actually encouraging men to act out on this aggression. And it's leading to the current tragedies that we see where a man is driving a car into a group of people or running into a school and shooting it up just because he got rejected by a girl. This incel culture has really flourished deep inside of internet forums where these angry virgins are getting together and instead of solving their feelings, they are justifying them and they are inflating their own ego as if they are owed everything. They believe that everyone is having a crazy amount of wonderful sex. And they even coin terms for these people. They call the men Chads and the women Stacys, the desirables, if you will. Now the underlining problem in the incel way of thinking is the male ego. The male ego is inflated. We have to deal with that. All right, and it's been inflated by centuries of not only pop culture, entertainment culture, business culture, um, media, pumping up men as the chosen gender, even religion has put men above everything. Now I can go on and tell you my theories about why I believe this is affecting the new generation of men more than previous, but I'll either blog about it or put it on my podcast. But for now, I'll say this. I remember my bitter years as a young man. I remember feeling this anger towards women. I remember feeling like less of a man because I was a virgin and for the life of me, I couldn't figure out how to get a girl to be naked with me. Then after maturing and reflecting on myself, I finally realized what the problem was. Me! (laughs) I realized that I was making sex the goal. I wasn't focused on actually learning how to talk to people. I was trying to convince people to love me. I was just trying to get them to find me attractive and, and think of me and look at me as somebody that was worth getting into their pants. So then I changed my goals and I started to focus on myself. You know, I I decided to just try to become a better person. I got hobbies, I I started to form interests, I dived into learning about life around me, and I figured out my opinions on things. And all of a sudden, I started to be attractive. Not only attractive to women, but just attractive to people. People wanted to be around me. I opened up my, my mind to other people's thoughts. I learned how to talk to people without having to have a goal attached to it. It was just conversation. Humor helped. You know, I was always a funny guy, so that did kind of help crack me out of that shell. And humor made it easy for me to admit that I didn't know certain things. And the moment that you admit that you don't know certain things, you become a better person. There's nothing that will help you grow more as a person than saying, I'm an idiot. What the fuck is going on? (laughs) Now, as people started enjoying being around me and me becoming more attractive, well, guess what happened? I started to get laid. And I only started to get laid because I didn't make it the goal. Ego isn't a bad thing. A unhealthy ego is a bad thing. And my ego became healthier as I started to have something to offer back to people. I adapted my personality so it wasn't just based on my ego of falsehood. Uh, It wasn't based on the feeling of I was owed something. Now, if you're a man that identifies as an incel, but you want to change, well, all you have to do is this. Actually talk to people. Learn how to carry a conversation with others and not only just to sway it your way. Learn how to talk. And for God's sakes, stop talking to angry men about women. They obviously don't know anything about women and that's why they are angry. You don't learn how to talk to women through angry men. You have to talk to women, but actually talk to them. Not just talk with the idea of like, I'm trying to figure out how to get laid, just fucking talk.
<laughs> just discover them as a human being. Actually enjoy who they are and, and learn how, learn what girls you like. Because just because you are looking at this Stacy as like, oh, I want to fuck her, that doesn't mean you're going to like Stacy. And here's the thing about that Stacy. That's not your Stacy. Your Stacy is out there. You just have to go find her. And the way to find her is you're going to have to go dive into interests, get out of the house, get out into communities that you are interested in, where you're kind of an expert at, you know, that way you have people that are interested in the same thing and you're able to talk to them about it because that is worth so much more. Learn how to have a conversation that doesn't just lead to you trying to get laid. You look desperate and everyone can smell desperate and women don't want desperate men. Nobody likes desperate people. And finally, this is for the younger guys who are just starting to deal with sexual desires. The big reason you aren't getting laid is because the girls in your peer group are also just discovering who they are. I mean, women don't grow boobs and all of a sudden are sexual experts and know exactly what they want. They are still learning who they are as a human being. And that's the difference between how younger men and women mature. Younger women are trying to learn how they fit in this world and younger men are just trying to figure out how to get into these girls' pants. And what's worse, you're listening to your peers on how to do it. They don't fucking know. <laughs> Half the guys that said they were getting laid in high school lied, and the ones that were, were doing it terrible. Trust me, no guy in high school has ever given a girl a real orgasm. They gave a girl what they thought was an orgasm, but they had never satisfied a girl. Your chads, they all suck in bed. But the Stacys do too, and that's sexual experiences when you're young. It's all meh, because you don't even know what the fuck you like yet. And the reason these guys suck in bed is because their whole goal has been to get laid, not to learn how to actually please somebody. It's all about pleasing their own dick. And you can't fuck well if you're just focused on pleasing your own dick. Trust me, you'll come quicker. Don't even think about your dick. Your dick shouldn't even be in the conversation. <laughs> And like I said, don't focus on these Stacys. There's a girl out there for you, all right? She's discovering herself. She's in her own shell. If you start learning how to talk to people, you'll find her. And that's all you really need is your Stacy. You don't need other people's Stacy. And then one day you'll meet this Stacy. You guys will talk and you're going to have mind-blowing sex because you are both trying to please each other, not just trying to get laid. That's how you have great sex. You'll learn how to make somebody else come. <laughs> great sex is when you learn how to please somebody else and not just yourself. So stop being a fuckhead, all right? Because that's literally what an incel is. You're just being a fuckhead and you're getting in your own way. Don't listen to these men. They don't know what they're talking about, okay? Nothing is owed to anyone. You have to earn everything in life. You even have to earn a good personality. So get out there, become open-minded, go talk to people, learn how to talk to people, learn who the fuck you are, and then you will see that you're going to start attracting people, okay? So just fucking do it, you dumb sons of bitches. I'm done, all right? <laughs> this has been Nick Garrow with some shit you didn't realize, all right? We'll see if I'll write that blog out. Uh, diving into the entire male ego. <laughs> <laughs>